The next big diva, did I hear that right? She did not do a good job in this song. That's my opinion. I'm sorry to say that. She just didn't. I'm not a big fan of vocal breaks because I've always looked at it as an imperfect, an imperfect technique. You can't be shouting out the verses if you need to express vulnerability and you certainly can't be whispering if you want people to feel your frustration or your desperation. For the song, I'm giving her a 0.99 grade. Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe. Good day to all of you. It is a lazy afternoon and I wasn't planning on filming today actually. But I just remembered a song uh, that was recommended to me by It's Me Morissette. So I decided to just uh, check it out right now. But first, shout out to TFS Reacts. Hello. Hi to fellow Sharonian, Eva Ramos. Thank you for watching. Christian Santos for your very encouraging words. And of course, Eduardo Makapulay for the heartwarming comments that you gave. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the love. We all need more love and less hate. So if you guys want a shout out in my next video, tell me down below. Due to my usual hectic work schedule, I don't get to watch TV a lot. Therefore, I'm not very updated with uh, the latest songs or the latest artists. The ones I know are mostly veterans or those who I have had a chance, uh, the privilege to work with in my events. If you checked out my videos, you'll actually see that I just joined YouTube on the 1st of April. So I'm kind of new here. Also, I'm very bad with song titles. So there are songs that I might have already heard, but I just didn't know the titles. Anyways, the song recommended to me this time is a Filipino love song entitled Ikaw Ay Ako, sang by Miss Morissette Ammon. So let's get right to it. The next big diva? Did I hear that right? How long ago was this video from? Oh, it's from three years ago. Because if this is a recent video, I would have called the MC out for calling her the next big diva because as far as I'm concerned, she deserves to be a diva right now. It says there, Ikaw Ay Ako, original soundtrack of Double Kara. Oh, wait. I think it should be Doble Kara because it's Tagalog. Doble Kara, I think, means uh, two-faced. Two-faced. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I suppose this is a movie soundtrack. First, I'd like to say how stunning she looks. That color suits her very, very well. Secondly, she got me right from the very first line. She sounded very sweet and very vulnerable. I love her tone. Very soothing, very soft, very feminine. It makes me want to hug her and to protect her. Wow. 
just gorgeous. Just beautiful. Very heartfelt. I just wish the audience didn't scream as loud as they did uh, because they were drowning out Morissette's voice in this recording. On the other hand, I'm sure if I'm there in the audience with them, I wouldn't be able to hold back either, witnessing such a remarkable talent. But of course, I'd rather hear her sing than hear the audience scream. Very nice. That's all I can say, very nice. As I watch this portion of the video, it's like she's all alone, singing to herself, giving me a very on my own vibe, on my own from Les Miserables. She sounds like um, she's speaking to herself, expressing to herself what she's feeling. And she sounds so different here compared to the other two songs that I previously reacted to, her Like a Rose and this is Christmas video. So it's kind of refreshing to again, hear something different from her. And of course, if you haven't seen uh, the reaction videos of uh, Like a Rose and This is Christmas, check out the link above. Sounds great. I'm having goosebumps listening to her. Eargasmic chills. Very nice tones. From a helpless little kitten, she is now starting to turn into a roaring tiger. You can hear the change of emotions from being timid to being frustrated. I'm actually not familiar with the lyrics, but that's the vibe I'm getting. Am I right or wrong? Let me know down in the comment section. And by the way, I just heard her first uh, vocal break in the song. Such control in her voice. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. And to think this is a live performance and it's not easy to pull off a live performance with a song this difficult. As usual, she is giving us her very well-supported C5. But I think with her range, C5 is nothing for her. It's like a note that she can hit even if she's standing on her head. Gorgeous. I'm usually not a big fan of vocal breaks because I've always looked at it as an imperfect, an imperfect technique. But somehow she made it sound perfect. How did she do that? She has mastered the art of making vocal breaks sound necessary.
from D5 to an F5, what can I say? Actually, she was hitting all those F5s in the chorus consistently with her chest voice, powerful voice. Let's continue to watch this. There are some words in the song that I actually understand, but mostly I'm unfamiliar with the words of the song. But I feel pain and vulnerability. Her voice, her facial expression, her body language. Gosh, that's what you call expressive singing. Very, very nice. Let's continue. Listen to the crowd cheer. She definitely deserves it. For the song, I'm giving her a 99.99 grade only because there is like one note. Just one note that wasn't so precise, like a quarter note. But that's just one time out of the entire song, so don't hate me. Come on, with a performance like this, so flawless, I have nothing else to critique. It's like trying to find an imperfect needle in a haystack of perfection. But that could also be due to the fact that the audience's loud screams are affecting uh, my hearing. Also, the ambient noise. That's why it's so hard to give uh, my, my uh, technical opinion if you have an audience in the background shouting their lungs out competing with the singer's voice. In singing contests that I judge, I would normally appreciate like a headphone that connects directly to the sound system so I can clearly hear the voice of the singer and the singer's voice alone, not the noise generated by the crowd. So all I can say is mind-blowing. Her talent is absolutely mind-blowing. In just one song, she was able to create different colors uh, with her voice. Despite the repetitive chorus, I didn't get bored because she served up different flavors each time. It's like being served a dish that is sweet, spicy, salty, bitter, all mixed up together, yet it tastes so heavenly. Her dynamics just incredible. It takes a lot of technical control to achieve that, not to mention knowing the right emotions to convey. You can't be shouting out the verses if you need to express vulnerability, and you certainly can't be whispering if you want people to feel your frustration or your desperation. Well, I must be living under a rock. I think I've never heard this song before. As I've said earlier, I don't get to watch TV a lot because of my work schedule. So, I'm actually relying on my viewers to uh, send me links. So, thank you guys for exposing me to such wonderful performances. To sum it all up, she did not do a good job in this song. That's my opinion. I'm sorry to say that. She just didn't. She did an outstanding job. I'm not even sure if this is her original song or if this is just a cover, tell me down below, please, enlighten me. But I can't imagine anyone delivering an even better rendition than her. Well, at least for this song. So thank you very much to It's Me Morissette for recommending this song to me. With that, thank you all for watching. And don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, and watch and comment on my videos, of course, here in MaxTube. Stay happy and healthy, everyone.